Well, hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me here today. And this lovely backdrop is for a game called Evo Space, a very detailed crafting factory game. Now, not a survival game. You don't have to eat, you don't have to drink. There's no fall damage, and there's no zombies. But it is one of the... Uh, most enjoyable crafting games for factory building styles you will probably run across. The developer is uh, back working on it after having a few uh, issues related to world events and such, and that's about as political as I get here. Um, it's well worth it. It's currently on the Steam Summer Sale, and let's have a look at it, shall we? First thing I want to do is I'm going to load up some blocks there. Um, yeah, that should do just fine. Just fine. So, let's go to 2. And just have a look at my map. Yeah, that should be about right. There we go. So I hope everybody is doing well today. It is the 3rd of July, a Monday. So I'm just putting a bit of a pad down here. There we go. That should do it. Just because I prefer not to work right on the ground. As it's handy to have a space in this game to put other things. in. Oops. Lovely. I think I'm going to go a little bigger. So, I have spent, uh, oh, I see I am out of these. Okay. Well, that's fine. I have spent the first part of, uh, well, probably half an hour just wandering around going after surface deposits of copper and, well, copper and coal are your big concerns when you first start. And if we look at our map, this symbol that I'm currently building my little platform on is coal. And there's a good reason for that. It's because that's the first thing I want to be drilling. So... Before I can get to that, though, we have to do some other things. Um, first of all, let's go into um, back into here. And if we look, we'll see that there are some crafting tabs. Let me dump this out of my hand. There's machines, logistics, decorations. This is how many of these I can make, by the way. If I do this, it will make me some more of those blocks. Um, miscellaneous bits, in this case, uh, sand and gravel, and parts, and then all, well, here's eventually what we can get into building. <laughs> but for now, we're limited to this. And this, well, this is not a lot, but most importantly, let's get some stone furnaces going, shall we? In fact, I would like four of them. So, one, two, three, four. And you'll see it will automatically craft, like if it's something that requires six parts to make, providing you have the materials to make the six parts, it will do that for you. 
Okay, so there's four of these. Let's put furnaces down in three. And then I'm going to want two smelters. Hmm, let's make it three. And smelters we'll put down in four. Okay, we now have a start. A start indeed. So where is that comes to what? Here, I believe. Um, right to there. Okay. Nice. So, I'm going to put my furnaces, if we go to 3, and R will rotate them. I'm going to put 1, 2, 3 of them there. And then I'm going to put one of them facing the opposite way back here. Now, there's not really a right and wrong way to do this. This is just something I'm trying. So, now, some of these I'm going to want for smelting materials. Others, not so much. Again, R will rotate this top piece. And once you rotate, it will stay that way until you change it. So, these are basic, fil or basic furnaces made of stone with their own smelters on board. If I right-click the bottom half, it opens a slot for me to put fuel. Now these will burn wood or coal. Coal is preferable. The top piece is the smelter. That's where we place our metal. In this case, what I really need is copper. It is our starting material. So, pop this in here. Drop a stack of copper. And repeat till all three or ten or however many you decide to start with are smelting copper for you. Because pretty much everything we're going to build to start with, it's made out of copper. Yes, it is. All right. How do you actually get things? Well, let's say it's a rock you want. You take out your handy gun, left click, turns it into pick upable bits. Boom. Uh, if it's wood you want, same thing. Walk up to a tree, go make a circle, bye bye. And it will drop wood. Logs in, in this case. There are places everywhere, oh cool, how handy, where you will find different materials. You'll see this says copper. This is coal. So let's say we wanted some more coal, which we usually do. You simply do that and it will dig up the coal. Grab a little of this, some copper, right? So that's how you gain your early goods. Now, of course, you don't want to be doing that. This is a factory game. The idea is automate, automate, automate. So let's dive back in here. Let's put our little gun away. And let's see how they're doing. Look at that. We've got five copper. We'll take those. Just, you know. And again, right click. And you can shift click things out. By the way, the models in this. Now, these are only stone models. But the models for the machines in this game are probably the nicest you have ever seen in a factory game. I kid you not. The dude is an artist when it comes to building things. These are not assets you find in other games, these things. These are some nice kit. All right, now we have copper. That's a good thing. So what I want to do... The, oh, the, um, although there are no monsters in anything, by the same token, you will not find it holding your hand. So I want to uh, run a computer. A computer needs power. And right now, this is what I have for power. A copper sterling engine. Let's build one. And you can see down here, it's building the individual pieces. Boom. I now have a sterling engine. But 
that puts out kinetic energy. What I actually need is electricity because, well, not too many computers come with a crank and a dynamo. So we're going to build this. This is a copper compact generator. And basically it turks or ta turks, takes a kinetic energy source and turns it into an electrical energy source. Let's have one of those. Alright. Now, to continue with my early questization here, I'm going to... Uh, Go back in here to miscellaneous, and this sand, this is going to allow me to turn some of my stone into sand, and I kind of need to do that, so let's do that to a couple of bits of sand. And you can see it turned it into gravel first, and then sand. I have really strong hands. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly pop this out of here that out. Now this is going to, well, this is producing one more ingot of this. There we go. That's why it said the output was busy. There we are. Now the output is busy and it can get at it. And it's going to produce, oddly enough, a piece of sand. What are you guessing? Glass? Good guess. That's exactly what it's going to give us. Because that's another one of these, you know, it's a whole thing with a computer. You generally want a monitor to look at. That requires glass. Now we're going to put this back in here. Boom. And have it go back to its old job. I mean even this is cool. The pouring ingots into the... Ah, I don't know. Maybe I just really really like this game. Okay, now that we have a piece of glass we can go back into machines. We can build a copper computer. Yes, indeed, this is how all computers started, with copper computers. We worked our way up from stone, you know, yeah. Alright, we have a copper computer. So, I'm going to put him here on the zero key. And then that Sterling engine that we made, I'm going to put him down here as well. And the copper generator. Alright. So, first things first, we're going to want that Sterling engine. Because it uses heat as a source to produce kinetic energy. So, we're going to pop it up on top of a heat source, i.e. a furnace. Bang. Now, like I said, not going to do us a lot of good. Um, here, I'm going to make my walking about needs a little easier. There we go. Whoop. Come up shy today. I? I don't care. All right. Now, let's uh, turn that into uh, something the computer can use. Now, you'll notice this ring on... Oops. Wrong button. This ring on the end of this wheel is yellow. So we'll match it up to the yellow ring on our little kinet or our little generator. Alright, that gives us this. Oh, that's a new model. That's really cool. And now we can hook up our computer, which of course is way over here on the zero. We'll have to rotate it around. And same thing. That's got a blue circle. Match our blue circle. This is a functional computer. I know, hard to believe. Let's go back in here for a second. I could really use uh, a couple more of these at least. Make it three. There we go. Fill that in. And then just so it doesn't look quite so awkward, we're going to put a block there. Now, let's go in here and let me get rid of that do the same thing. We're going to throw coal in here and it's going to produce heat. The heat is going to turn the wheel. The wheel is going to power the generator. The generator is going to turn on our computer. Alright. Uh, is it R? R. No, sorry. R is a very, very special key. If you look at anything, um, let's look at this block and press R. Oh, 
it shows you what it's made out of. And it shows you you can either make it in a steel press and press the sand into a block, the amount of power it takes and how long it takes, or by hand, you can do the same thing by hand in half a second. Yeah, makes you wonder why you do it that way. You wouldn't. <laughs> Basically, there, there's a much better way to automate the making of blocks. Okay. But anyway, there you go. So, what we want to do here, let me just, I don't remember what the key is. This is research, okay? And you'll notice, well, there's a, a couple of things here. And this is our goal. This is the portal that will link this planet to a new planet in the system. When we manage to link a new planet, we've attained why we were sent here. So, you'll notice it doesn't really tell you start here, although it sort of does. Okay. Something you'll see they all have in common is this series of binary print. All right. What that tells you is it takes computer computations to research this item, okay? And then you look along and you'll notice, oh, but this one has binary print and a circuit. We don't make circuits yet, so this research is beyond our range. So we've already narrowed it down to the fact that, well, we need something that's got only the print, the binary on it, right? And we'll also notice some stuff's already been done. Like we have a computer because distributed computing is open to us. It's, we've got one level of it. There's seven levels to gain. We have one, all right? Same thing, power generation, that generator we had, because this is on. Initial scan is what we did when we hit the planet. We don't know we did it, but we did. So you now are kind of in the thing that, well, I guess I want things that link to these. We've got smelting. Where does it end? Well, down here with things like basic machines, the valve, and the multi-tool. These are all kind of, well, and this furnace, right? These are things that are linked to what we've already opened up, right? We haven't opened additional storage, so this isn't linked yet, right? Etc. So let's go to, uh, well, I like basic machines as a place to start, okay? Now, because I have a computer hooked up, and it's cooking fuel. All right, basic machines. That's going to get us a copper macerator, an automatic hammer, and then various versions of that right up through the train chain to neutronium, which is the highest metal in the game. And we'll need to unlock that, I think, before we can make the portal. All right. It's required for us to open up the flywheel, the cutting, and automation. This is what I'm trying to get to. So. Let's take basic machines and select. And you'll see it's counting down. It needed 30 computations. All right, it's ticking down through them, ticking down through them, ticking down through them. We'll let it do that. Now, if you'd like, you could build many, many, many more of these and it would take mere seconds to fly through it. But as you see, for the moment, it only took that long. And we're done. So, um, geez, I wish I could remember what key it is. T? No. J. J opens your research. I know. I, I have no idea. All right. So next, I want to pick automation. Okay. So we'll click on it down here. That'll bring it up here. And you can see we're going to get a lot of things out of this, right? Conveyors, splitters, robotic arms, and then all the way up through the chain. And until we have that, we can't unlock any of these. To get that, we require the one we just unlocked. So that's what all of this is about. So again, select. Oh, this only requires 32. It'll burn through this in no time. All right. This early stuff, obviously, is really easy. It's just to get you into the flow of how to use the research tool. As a lot of factory games are, this is basically 
you need to do research to unlock machines that will help you do more advanced research, that will help you unlock more advanced machines. That you, yeah, you know where this is going. All right, we now have the automatization. Automatization. Yeah, that's actually what it says. All right, which takes me down to where I wanted to be. You'll notice these have links coming off of them, okay? I want this, automatic mining. Because this gives me a drill. Boom. This requires a few more points as well. So let's see how the rest of our system is doing, shall we? Yeah, that's what I thought. We're pretty much out of everything. So we'll take you out. We'll take you out. We'll take you out. And... We will click a stack in there. We will click a stack in there. And we will click a stack in there. Up here we'll go copper. 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 Alright. <clears throat> now, our research is complete. Okay, now I want to start doing a little bit of build. Now, oh man, I wish I could remember how you do it. Is it tilled? No. There is a way that you can actually skip the night in this game, and I don't remember what it is. It's not in the uh, options list. So, yeah. Doesn't help. Alright. Um, I think I want a few more of these. Now, if you right-click on it, you can craft a bunch. Alright. 5, 25, or 100. So it will now automatically craft a bunch. Cool, huh? Yes. Yeah, I need this to be, I think, at least a row wider. So... Is it already all 25? Okay. Well, I'm not happy with that. Huh? Decoration. Need at least a couple more. Okay. So, what I want to do now is I want to place down two drills. By looking at the map, I know that I'm right on top of a coal deposit. Okay. Anywhere on the map will give you stone. And those are the first two things I want. I want the stone because we build all our foundations. I won't be building these particular ones. I'm going to build a much more basic one. Um, and I want coal because, well, obviously, everything freaking runs on coal. At least for the first, I don't know, two-thirds of the game, maybe. So, let's go back into... Our big crafto thing. And if we look in machines now, we have a few more. We have macerators, and we have copper hammers, and we have drilling rigs. I'm going to build myself two of these. I keep thinking that closes the window. I'm just an idiot. As you can see, it's making the plates. Then it'll make the tubes it needs. Then it'll make the metal parts it needs. Then it needs to put one of these little robo things in it. And then it will build a drill. Ta-da! So. Drills. 
All right, now the power for these, see those yellow rings? Yes, we know what those are. Um, I'm gonna go the other way with these. So let's turn it around with the R key. And I'm gonna put it right on the edge. And I'm gonna put another one right on the edge. There we are. Now they look like they're doing things. They're, they're not, okay? They're, there's nothing to power them at this point. Um, the staircase has got to move. Ah, nice thing is, oops, I did not mean to do that. Everything you get back. Now it's unfortunate it's going to do that, but... Okay, and let's put it... Huh. Thought I was coming up a bit shy. Okay. Let's put it right in the center. better. Okay. Now, I'm definitely going to need a few of these. Now, the other thing we need crafted up, let's see how our copper stuff is doing, shall we? Nice. Boom. And you. Okay. That should be lots. Let's get some more research going. Automatic. I don't need the pump jack yet. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go with the automatic farm. There we go. And as you can see, it's doing its amazing quantum computing or whatever the heck it is it does. And uh, carrying on from there. All right, we have some more brickage. Excellent. Okay. And I'll need a level here. And a level there. Oh. Right to here, actually. And our research is done. Excellent. There we go. Alright, now... I don't want oh. this. Oh, drop these. Thank you. I don't want these. So I'm going to drop them in that hole. Wee! Bye. Alright, what I do want, however. Um, but can I build it? Conveyors? Copper cables. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I can yet. So, let's go back into our research. I want to look at... Pumps? No. Pump check. Multi tools. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, here we are. Heat transference. That's the one I want. Do it. I need those specifically. Let's make sure these stay full as they can for the moment. Ooh. All right, so we're going to run out of copper pretty soon. In fact, so I will end up emptying these out. I didn't realize I was getting so low. All right, heat transfer tubes are done. That's a good thing that we've got a bunch of copper going on because heat transfer tubes. Here we are. Um... Uh, make me five, make me ten. Yeah, see they take a lot of materials, eh? Because it has to make four copper sheets. into the number six position and I'm now going to build back to our simplest of machines I'm going to build five plus one okay and then we're going to run shy on stone We're going to have lots of it in a few minutes, but for the moment... Ooh. Coal ore, that ain't stone. There's not a lot of it around. You're not really meant to uh, hand mine a lot of stone. We'll have plenty more momentarily. But that should be enough to get me. Yes, it is. Uh, four, five. Oops, no. Five, six. Okay. Now, let's go to three. And I want them where? Here. No, I want them right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's grab these heat pipes and pointing directly at the output of the oven or furnace, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that to all of these. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to put my stairs on the other side. There we go. Alright, now... 
I'm going to need one more. Oh, these are off. Dang it. Okay. There we go. Now. That's it. Come on. What are you doing to me here? Well, I guess I did only craft five. I thought I crafted five and then threw an extra one on, but I guess not. All right, let's go back to six. Boom, boom. Okay, now what I need are sterling engines. Many, 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 many sterling engines. So, um, make me ten. Um, come to think of it, let me have a look here. Um, back into the research, there's another tab here called decoration. Um, what do I need to make a stairs? I think they're in here. Decorative wood, basic platforms, decorative stone. No. Ah, uh, this gets me stairs. This doesn't. Huh? So decorative wood, can I just do that? I can. Awesome. So I will have some stairs. Cool. Very, very cool. Um, oh, crap. Eh? Oh, well that's new. They stop burning now when there's nothing in them. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you, developer. What a good little bit of uh, quality of life that adds, let me tell you. All right, so that research is done. So let's have a look here. Um, under decorative? Yes, stairs. Um, Okay, and these I'm going to move over to this other bar, which is control and then the number. So there's the stairs, for instance. All right. And I want them this way. Oh, well, I guess I need blocks under them, do I? Dang. All right. Oh, but just that should actually do it. So let's go back to control one. Okay. Obviously the wood doesn't quite suit the aesthetic, but you will get other stuff as we go along. And let's go back down. There we are. So now, to make all of this happy, happy, joy, joy, um... We're going to come over here and we're going to take those sterling engines and we're going to go nine and we're going to hook them up onto these heat pipes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. 
Now, all we need to do is go down here and do this. Now that'll get it going, and until I have a few more resources, I'm only going to light up one of these furnaces for each drill. Okay. Now, if we right-click this... Oh, we have to give it a resource. This one, I want to pick stone. And you'll see it's now... Boom, there's a stone. This one, I want to pick coal. There we are. If it can't get it here, it won't come up in the list. That's why I had to pick where there actually was coal. Right? Now, next thing, of course, this is a, an automated dealie. Um... Yeah, let's start with a couple of these. Can I now, can I make a box uh, any chance? No, eh? Hmm. Let's see about that. Uh, back to production, I believe. Additional storage? Yes, this is what we want. Select. This will be a quick one. All right, now, I should now have these five. Ah, uh, yeah, I want you to go this way. And you to go this way. Ah, good, additional storage is done. So now, I should be able to go into logistics and build myself some stone chests. There we are. Stone chests. Okay. And control to switch. There we are. I will put a chest there. I will put a chest there. Um. Why are you not... Uh, No, you're right. Hmm. Does this not use arms anymore? Does this go straight... Um, conveyor? Or do I need both? Let's have a look, shall we? Go back in here. And we'll build a couple of conveyors. Okay. Oh, come on, couple at least. There you go. I'm going to replace our computer slot with that. There we go. Alright, so, uh, oh, it didn't do it. Apparently, you got to clear the slot first. Okay, no problem. And zero. Now, again, we will turn it. There we go. So that's what it is. This guy will feed directly onto a conveyor. So there you are. We now have uh, stone coming into this one. And uh, coal coming into this one. Now once we get a little stock of it, I can double the speed by turning on another one of those Sterling engines. I can triple the speed by turning on both of them. So there you go. 
We uh, we're doing research. We're producing coal and stone. And we will add copper and iron and uranium and all of those other things in future episodes. So let me know what you think. This is uh, probably long enough for this one. So, uh, yeah. Take care of each other, folks. Hit that like button. And ciao for now. Perfect. I mean, just look at the quality of the models. Unreal.